What's up Malibu RCers, Colton here, and uh, yes, behind the camera is the man, myth, the legend, Gary the Goat. Uh, we're at Lake Francis today. Uh, we got a couple new things in the ropes. Uh, sorry we haven't gotten any videos out to you guys lately. Uh, we've been waiting for things to ship. Uh, COVID still kind of slowed a lot of things down for us. Uh, that's why you haven't seen any uh, videos. We also work full-time jobs, so bear with us. Uh, today we're going to be testing out the Sonic Wake. Uh, we've already ran it a couple times. It's a real fun boat but we'll have some footage on it for you guys and our honest opinion about the boat. Uh, Blazer's gonna go swimming again. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, so far, this truck, I love it, but she is not happy right now. Uh, so we're back with the Sonic Wake by Probo. It is a ABS plastic boat. It is no longer fiberglass. I think most manufacturers are going to a uh, plastic <clears throat> build just to save money. And it's a little bit cheaper. This stuff's actually pretty solid. Um, Another cool feature about this boat is they still have their classic screws to hold down the uh, hole nice and tight and keep it water sealed. But here's the weird part, is if you look right here, there's holes. And you're probably wondering why are there holes? Well, if you look on the back over here, there's also two holes here. And what that does is it self rights itself. So if the boat flips over, you don't have to go into the freezing cold water if you're running it year-round. Um, it'll basically just float itself 
back over onto its top and then take off again. Uh, we can show you. So, now that we're at the water, uh, I don't know how easy I'm going to be able to roll this thing just to show you guys an example. Uh, we were running it earlier, flipped it over once, but after that, it pretty much uh, started just doing flips and landing back on its uh, upright position and taking off again. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put it upside down at first. And we'll uh, show you how the self-riding feature works. Uh, there's nothing to it, really. It's just filling up a hole with water right there and right there. Uh, there's no electronics involved. And what's really nice about this is they did a really good job on uh, the props, stainless steel, got the metal blades. Yeah, this rudder. is a really nice built boat. Uh, yeah. Like I said, it's an ABS plastic. Uh, unfortunately, we did buy an M41, but that didn't turn out the way we thought. The plastic was just super flimsy. Uh, yeah, so we, we did not care about instead. that boat. And this boat was... $50 cheaper. 50 to $60 cheaper, depending on where you're at and how much you buy it. But like I said, I'm going to put it upside down. <clears throat> and just watch. It takes a second, but it's slowly but surely itself back over. So I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna come. Okay. So there's your little wipeout. And just wait a second. Okay, so if anybody sees, we got in some weeds out over there. I gotta be careful. So we're gonna try and get it across here. Bring it this way. I'm trying to. <laughs> He's stuck. We're gonna have to go across. Of course, as soon as the camera stops rolling. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I just gotcha. Full steering again. Oh. <laughs> I just recorded the water for like 30 seconds. Cool. All right. Yeah, stay away from there. Look at the goat. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Back to the initial one. <laughs> See, unlike my father, I'm not going to hit him with the boat. That's a great shot. So when it sits in the water for a minute, it leans to the left. So you can kind of see where it sucks in the water. So when you want to take off, you just go slow. The water will all come out. And you're good to go. Ooh, let's get a shot of it going just straight up. This is a great boat. I mean, oh, yeah. just really super fun. Are we on a 6S right now or 4S? 6. So. Oh, yeah, so we're, we're giving it all the beans.
Mm-hmm. I mean, just absolutely handles the turns. Full throttle. And the balance. Alright guys, so like I said, we're, we were running 6S, so we were giving it all the beans. Uh, those batteries weren't fully charged. Usually the run time's a lot longer than that. Yeah, it's about 78% on it. But that's okay, we just did it. So, one thing I do have to complain about this boat is uh, the battery area. It's not really a good area. You need some pretty tall batteries. Um, some hard packs, just really tall. Even standing these up, you can see that these are super loose in here. Um, I did pretty much everything I could to s tighten up the straps. Maybe I'll have to get some shorter straps for in there. But uh, that's pretty much the only complaint I have about this boat. Uh, just not properly built for the batteries. Other than that, everything is great. Um, boat did what, 50, 60 miles an hour just? Yeah, now. that was right here. Um, We've seen people get this boat up to 95, I think, with a prop change. Yeah, I mean, it's just to do high-speed runs, I mean, it'd be good, but for every day up at the lake or in the reservoir up here swimming, I oh, mean, yeah. this is a great setup. I, and the boat stay, the motor stays super cool. Like, I'm putting my hand on it right now. You can see I'm putting pretty good pressure on it, and it's not burning. It stays very cool. Um... Like I said, right now we're super impressed with the boat. Uh, we were doing it. Uh, we were doing drag racing with the uh, Pro Boat Valise. Uh, that's my father's boat, the green one right there, right over there. And uh, two completely different boats, guys. Uh, that's a Tunnel Hall, aka a Canterbury. Uh That boat goes about the same, uh, but he can't handle the turns like I could. So if you saw. Uh, just like you saw before, I took that turn super quick, and I was full throttle. I, I didn't let up on that turn, and it just took it. His will flip, but during the drags, they were pretty much head to head. Uh, if I was right in front of him, he would slipstream me and get right next to me. If I was behind him, same thing, slipstream right behind him. Uh, these boats did catch air. That was a lot of fun. I wish we got that on camera, but we got tomorrow too. Um, but like I said, this boat so far... Really impressed. Uh, we'll have a link for it in the description at our uh, boys over at A-Main. Same with the valise. Uh, like I said, this boat, really fun. And it's 50 to $60 cheaper than the Traxxas boat. And it's well more built, especially with the plastic. Uh, but right now, that's all I got for you on this uh, pro boat. We'll check in with you guys a little bit later. When like there's a family out in the lake. Oh yeah. Family at the lake, always supporting us. Uh, that was Uncle Kevin and Aunt Jenny out there as well. Uh, same people who helped us film the smelter and copper video uh, of the Revos. If you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out. We'll leave a link over in uh, the description or uh, pop it up in the box over here. <laughs> uh, but right now, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit later. Down in uh, San Luis Obispo. Brought three trucks down here. Brought the, the Lozi Baja Ray, bought the Laser Nut, and also brought the X Max. So, yesterday we're out running them and we're going to do our videoing today. And the sand and the, the beach or the salt water really took a toll on them. Uh, the Baja Ray, all of the bolts rested on it. Um, We'll go ahead and show you those videos later. We lost a servo on the X-Max. Um, both those trucks are dominating out here. The Baja Ray is still running. We just don't have an extra servo um, for the uh, X-Max. The laser nut is running good, um, but we get some grinding in one of the gears. I don't know if maybe when the gears are slipping or the motor slipping on the sprocket gear we're gonna have to check that out tonight um, we will be running that out here today um, 
just got to kind of bear with me on me. I only went out here. Uh, Colton or Crash Bambino uh, couldn't make it out here. Um, so it's just me and the wife down here with the dogs and enjoying the beach. Having a nice two and a half week RV vacation. So went up to the lake, did the boats up there and the trucks up there. And uh, now just down here enjoying the scenery it's kind of clearing out out here we might take a ride back down where they're uh, riding the down on sand dunes showing you show you guys some of that stuff but mama's just out here with her dog shop dog the lips it all right guys so it's gonna be a little more difficult um, because I'm running the regular spectrum controller that came with the truck so there's no finger thing right here and I got short little fingers so I'm gonna try my best here um, to get this recording so here we go Up this sand hill, there's uh, this is a really steep hill with a lot of berms, and you can see this truck just smash into the sand berm. And this thing is just excellent out here. This truck is awesome. I wish I could be running the eight cell because the eight cell just flies through here and just bashes. But it's still going pretty well. You can kind of tell. Bam! And there we are. <laughs> So, uh, let's get out here and flip it back over. So with this thing's calling it a Baja truck, it's definitely a Baja truck, I tell you that. It does excellent out on the sand here. And you can tell where we're at here. Get a shot of it uh, coming in. There's no other trucks coming. So let me do this. And this is a like a one-fifth scale. I mean, it's big. Um, and these big trucks do really good out here. The laser nut does good. Smaller truck, lighter. Um, that does a good job too. But uh, you can just tell this thing just bashes through the sand. You can tell it's 4th of July weekend. Everybody's out here flying their flags. How it should be. So we actually just found out here, guys, um, that they're gonna be closing. Uh, they passed the law. I don't know who did.
pulling it there so everybody can kind of read it. I have the wind blowing through the truck here. Um, so, in three years, they're gonna close the dunes and everybody that comes down here I mean it's a great place I mean families come down here um, have barbecues they come out ride their quads ATVs or they just come out and swim and fish but uh, if you guys come down here you guys ever been down here um, and check this out That cool or what? You get these biplanes flying over the beach. It says rides. They take you out on them. They fly you over. Now, how cool is that? Now they're gonna be shutting this beach down. You know, like I said, we hey guys. So they're gonna be closing this beach down. We really try not to be political on our channel, but like they said, if you don't stand for something, you don't stand at all. I don't think it's right. Um, there's some or a organization that has been trying to push it for many years, even when my kids were young. Um, and I think everybody kind of knows who it is. I'm not going to say it, but you know, everybody should, you know, see what they can do. You know, get a hold of the county down here. You know, fight it. Hopefully, it gets fought in court. But they just passed a law saying they're going to close the beach, and I think that's going to really kill uh, the town of Pismo down here because the people down here, um, the businesses are down here. They all survive off the people coming down here. Yes, they do have jobs, but you know, this is going to really impact the uh, economy down here. They close this beach. Um, maybe this weekend we'll get some film of uh, the sand dunes down there. It is absolutely packed. Hundreds of thousands of people out here, you know, enjoying the, the beach, spending money down here. Um, just really having a good time. But let's get back to filming. out here. I mean, it's just so much fun. Hopefully I'm getting it all. Oh, and we crashed and we landed on the bridge. We're on the tires. It's in the water, folks. In the water. Get it. Yep. And like I said, any shit can happen. Yeah. Mama wasn't too happy about that. You had to see the stare she gave me. So what happened, folks? Is uh. Just the batteries died. So we were running it and you know went in safe mode and stopped the truck. But yeah, I see the wife look at me. She thought I uh, 
shorted her truck out by flipping it into the ocean. But it's all good. It's all, you know, it sat on its hood. None of the electronics got wet. So uh, my foot did a little bit, but it was get my foot wet or deal with the wife when we get back to camp. But uh, thanks for uh, watching and, you know, having fun with us. But like I said, it's all, it's all fun. But let's check this truck out. So you can just see how much sand this thing just packs into it. Underneath it. I mean, this is just going to take hours to clean, but, you know, we did it for you guys. We did, you know, for the family fun, and it's just a fun hobby. But, you know, like they always say, four hours of cleaning for one hour of fun. All right, guys, so this is what I'm talking about. You can see all the sand in here. I mean, all this can be cleaned off and blown off, but it gets all up in there, you can see. You can see the head of the the nuts and stuff that's kind of rusted. I mean, it just gets all over the place. But it is fun, though. So, let's uh, run it. And like I said, try and bear with me on here because I'm uh, And the dog's not playing with it. So let's uh, bear with me on filming. I'm driving with one hand and filming with the other. Here we go. This is running a three cell, not a four cell. So you can kind of hear what I mean about the grinding. If you could hear that. Got the Baja Ray ready to go. And we lost one of the four cell spectrum batteries, one of the smart batteries. Um, we don't know why. Um, plug it into a charger, it won't charge. Um, it's rating a three cell, not a four cell. So I don't know, if, you know, the chip inside shorted out, but we're gonna have to get all A main hobbies and spectrum and see kind of if they can help us out with that. It's Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know it's been a long time. It's been about a month and a half. Yeah, about a month and a half, yeah. Yeah, we've had a lot of fires in California here. Um, once we got back from our trip, there were some fires going, but not as bad as it is. And, you know, our, our hearts and prayers go out to the people that have lost their homes and have been evacuated. Our, our prayers and thoughts go out to our first responders, our boys and gals that are driving, these, flying these bombers and trying to get these fires out and everybody's on the front lines, everybody that's helping out, you know, um, 
Yeah, it, it just it's it's rough right now. Um, like right now, we're in our shop, our little studio area. I mean, we're we're sweating right now. Um, we can't even have our doors open. We have a fan going a little bit. You can hear I'm kind of raspy a little bit, just you know, from the smoke. It it looks like fog right it, now. It, it's literally been filling the entire garage and kind of like seeping into the house throughout the weeks. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's almost as bad as the Paradise Fires. It's it's to that point of that it's that bad. Yeah, we have I think four or five fires going right now in California. Um, but this, it, it, yeah. I mean, I I just feel blessed and lucky right now. Um, you know, have my family and being safe right now. Um, you know, we complain about the smoke and stuff, but I guarantee a lot of these people being evacuated and losing their homes. I guarantee they'd rather complain about the smoke instead of being with their going but um, yeah, and then not only that with the fires um, we both work full-time jobs unfortunately I did break my ankle at work uh, yeah. so that's why I'm sitting right now is yeah. I'm my ankles broken um, and then we've also been waiting for RC accessories and parts to come in uh, this COVID things really slowed everything down it's hard to get parts, things aren't available, um, so we've just been kind of, pretty much after that trip, we, it was back to the grindstone, just back to work until, yeah, just, it, it, like, literally a few weeks, like, I would say a week and a half later is when I broke my ankle. Yeah, about that, yeah, yeah. Roughly. Yeah, we got all the videos uploaded, and <clears throat> like I said, it, it was just kind of, the week started out pretty good. Um, we were running the boat out in the about the lake, and we we're going to do some filming, some some crawling with the other rigs, and um, we had some difficulties there. Um, the campground we were at had some issues with their their water, so yeah, the power. It, it, so big we, mess. <laughs> we were dealing with them, but they were really good. Lake Francis, I mean, and that's one of our go-to places, and they're they're great people up there. And um, then you went to. Uh, we went down to Pizzo Beach. Um, yeah, Crash Bambino couldn't go. He had to go back to work. Yeah, and, yeah, that was that was the week I had to go back to work and start getting my vacation out of back. Yeah, and I wanted to run the X Max and all that. And what was kind of cool about that is the first day we ran out, and I was just doing some basic running just to see what type of videos uh, that we could do with it, and lost a servo on the X Max. Um, <laughs> Then started losing the center gear on the the, the laser nut. Um, the uh, Baja Ray, the wife's truck, um, that was the only one that kind of survived through the whole thing. It uh, crushed it. Flipped it in the water. Um, uh, she ran it under a truck on accident. The dog jumped on her lap and <laughs> made her pull the throttle on the controller and snuffed it underneath the truck. and. Uh, yeah, they thought it was pretty funny. They saw everything. A um, couple but, updates, yeah, too, yeah. is, uh, like I said, we've been waiting for parts and accessories and a few other yeah, things. Yeah, this bad boy. So, this is one of the bad boys that we were waiting for. This is the Big Dog Triple Axle Boat Trailer. I got it off of RC Four Wheel Drive. It fits behind the dually um, really well. It's got the real working lights. Uh, all in all, great trailer. Nice runners, they're all made out of Oh yeah, metal. it's a yeah. real nice trailer. Yeah. Uh, the goat over here is going to get one for his catamaran. Hopefully he gets his own tow rig, because I don't think he, uh, It's a pain in the butt to swap, hit, swap hitches all the time, so he's going to get his own tow rig. Hopefully he gets the blue uh, 450. But uh, behind the 450, this thing is like six feet long, all put together. I'm 6'2", and uh, I'll throw up a picture. Uh, showing how long this thing is and uh, kind of it all set up. It has all these lights that's, that's uh, yeah. in the frame itself. Amber lights, uh, the red lights, it's not accurate. as it, it can be a little bit more accurate with the amber lights, but all in all, really happy. Uh, like I said, I found that on RC Four Wheel Drive. They have a firm pay as well as A-Main. A-Main sells a trailer too, but... I was only able to find it on RC four wheel drive, so I snatched it up when I could. Um, you know what would have been cool about this? What's up? Is if they actually stuck kind of like a twist. No, they did. Winch. So they did. 
It, it's kind of like this one up here, mm -hmm. except unfortunately, I, something got stuck in there and grinded it all up. I actually have the part. I gotta fix it. But it actually has a working tongue winch. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it, it, it makes it actually stepping on the for the valve. Yeah, they, they could have done something a little different, but we did our own touches. Yeah, we had to do some valve codes, just kind of holding <coughs> it like that. But uh, like I said, it fits perfectly behind everything. Uh, it tows great. Uh, you can hardly feel it. The truck just still just hauls butt down the road. Uh, I know it's weird to say like you can hardly feel it. But, uh, it's kind of funny because it kind of pushes the truck if you turn it. Really yeah, hard. so kind of like a regular truck. Yeah, so I, I grew up uh, camping and stuff like that. I've helped my dad hook up trailers. I, I pretty much should know the whole shebang. I can honestly say behind the tr uh, wheel of a real truck and trailer and behind the wheel of this pretty much the same feeling it, it's unbelievable how close it is especially for a scale model um, you're probably wondering what happened to the guy whose RC car I burnt down my buddy Josh um, we've been waiting on parts for his truck too so shortly after uh, I don't know if you knew this but shortly after we bought the truck like a week and a half later they discontinued it completely and really? Yeah, completely. Why is that? So is that why you did the axle swap? Yeah, that's why we did the axle swap. So, uh, so what happened was, we had the video up, the same video of me giving him the truck and welcoming him to the channel, and we're expecting some more footage from Reno. Yeah. Uh, his front differential blew up the same day. Completely. Yeah, yeah, so we thought we just pushed it too hard. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, so we thought we just pushed it too hard. Well, it turns out that the truck has had electronic issues uh, with like shifting and stuff because it has a two speed as well, uh, differential, and a couple other issues. That So I don't know if they just had so many issues with it, they just decided to pull the truck. But when Josh went to order the parts, uh, with his paycheck, he found it, and then a week later he went to pay for it because that's when his check it. Truck was completely gone. Granted, his old hoopty that was in the uh, that he still had his old scale build. Yeah, his old yeah. scale build uh, yeah. had pretty good axles. He spent some good money on those axles, so we did what we call in the real world a one ton swap or one ton. Um, I've seen Snapchats and pictures. This thing is massive, and I'm gonna go see him Labor Day. So hopefully we get some run time out of that. We'll actually get some footage from him. Um, he ended up buying a Drifter too because he does want to produce content for us. Uh, yeah, he also wants to run with us. Yeah, he wants to run with us. But a week after he bought his Drifter, the differential in mine blew up. So I'm waiting on parts for that. Uh, his is kind of over here in the background, kind of tucked away so we'll get him going Labor Day. Uh, Everybody knows about waiting. It's this whole COVID thing. I think we're on the same boat. Yeah. Yeah. You know. uh, but for the most part, all the cars are back up and running. The Blazer's up and running. Uh, I ended up frying the motor. Uh, so the last, when you guys saw it sitting up against the log in the sun, yeah, that was the last time it ran. It just slapped yeah, in the but, water. Yeah, but you know. But here's you, the thing. You, you gotta get. Here, here's the thing. That you you went snorkeling four times with that. Thing, this so. truck, I, mean, I must say, I've I've changed out the grease and the axles and stuff like that. I've made sure everything else was well looped. And, but you went four times in the water. This truck went swimming in the snow by accident, and then three other times willingly on my own. Not so much willingly on the truck's end, but yeah, I must say but, this truck is very impressive. Up that copper with that type of water up there, um, that oh, yeah. water is really rough, like on your boots and stuff. Well, I'm surprised it didn't kill the motor then. Yeah, uh, it, but it, it did kill the motor in the lake. So it has a lot of copper in the water up there, um, just from the smelter and stuff. And so, if you get your boots wet, you gotta go back to camp and actually wash them off. Yeah, it's um, so you were actually snorkeling in that water too so i mean that's the water that probably cooked it i don't think the fresh lake water did i think well that's just where it stopped working yeah so that was four or five times I yeah think. so this truck went swimming five times before i replaced the motor and all i did was go down to my local hobby shop get a the replacement motor so factory slapped it uh <laughs> the uh the camera died on us so we uh had to start over yeah we had to restart that but uh, like I was saying about the Blazers, 
Yeah, that thing went swimming four times before I replaced the motor. And then just slapped in a new one and it was good to go again. But, um, it's pretty much what's been going on is I've just been dealing with uh, my broken ankle, uh, the smoke and the fires, waiting on parts. Like I said, I'm going up Labor Day. Uh, a lot of it's just been the smoke. We haven't been able to get in the shop. You can kind of. Hello again. <laughs> uh, camera died again. Uh, yes, it happens in you. Uh, I haven't charged your camera in a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the drift content should be cool. Uh, I got some kind of in the works. Uh, my drifter is going to get a new body and stuff like that, a new overhaul. Uh, the one Josh just got is going to be sick. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. The old man, we're probably going to revamp his here in the next few weeks. Uh, just kind of get a fresh, fresh start on things and get more drift content out there for you guys. But a uh, really big shout out to Traxxas on this TRX4. They built one hell of a truck. Yeah. Um, like I said, I keep forcefully putting this thing through the ringer, and it's definitely a good truck. <laughs> Something yeah. overall camping truck, everyday truck, something to play with. You know, it, it's a good truck. Oh yeah. But uh. Yeah, to wrap things up, just so you guys know, holidays are coming for all our subscribers. Four if months. you subscribe uh, during Christmas, we're going to be giving away uh, an RC car, some gift cards, only to our subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Um, I know, bell, I know a lot of you guys are watching, not subscribing. Okay, you ain't. You guys ain't gonna get nothing on Christmas. <laughs> Santa is not gonna be good. <laughs> so, like I said, subscribe, guys. Come, on, it's easy. Um, hit the bell so you know when we're up. And during Christmas, we're giving away stuff. You know, if you get picked. So, uh, like I said, subscribe. Appreciate it. Our hearts and prayers go out to the fire victims. <laughs>